We now bring you Mr. Tan Ji Se. Good evening, my fellow Singaporeans. Three months ago, you voted in the present government. Tomorrow, you will vote for the president of our republic. This election will not change the government, but will make it work harder and better for you. You will want to know how I, as president, can improve your lives. The constitution has specified five areas in which the president has the power of veto over the government to safeguard your interests. All five are important, but I will focus on two areas to show how they affect your daily lives. The first is on the national reserves. This has been accumulated from past government budget surpluses and other sources such as land sales. So you contribute to the reserves through the taxes you pay and the prices of HDB flats that you buy. It is your money and as president, I will guard it zealously. If the government needs to make use of it, I will make sure that it is well spent on government projects that benefit Singaporeans directly, such as schools and hospitals. The second area is on key appointments. As president, I will scrutinize the background and track record of all government appointees who come before me for confirmation of their appointments. I will ensure that only true talented Singaporeans are appointed, who are motivated by a sense of public service and not by huge financial rewards. Reappointments will also be subject to the same scrutiny. Only such a system of intense scrutiny will ensure the integrity and independence of key institutions, such as the civil service, the judiciary and investment agencies. Singaporeans deserve this as their daily lives and savings are at stake. The veto power of the president is a negative power. I want to use the moral authority of the president to do positive things for Singaporeans. On the use of reserves, I intend to encourage the government to do more and utilize it to invest in the future of our Singaporeans, rather than in other people's future in overseas banks or companies. I shall also examine more closely the appointments to government bodies, statutory boards and government-linked companies. I believe that there is an over-concentration of power, too few people holding too many jobs within the government. As a result, we find the same individuals occupying many different board memberships. This is not good for Singapore, as it does not allow younger Singaporeans a chance to develop their skills, acumen and exposure for higher office. I will encourage the government to cast the net wider so that more Singaporeans will be given opportunities for exposure and advancement. For too long, you have been accustomed to the idea that the president has a limited ceremonial and diplomatic role. But then, why the need for an elected presidency with such a generous salary? In seeking the presidency, I am not motivated by personal gain or monetary gain. As a former civil servant, I have always been driven by public service rather than receiving over $25 million for six years. I intend to return the bulk of the president's pay to the people if I am elected. I will use the office of president to promote causes that unite Singaporeans. The fast pace of change has left large sections of Singaporeans behind, who feel neglected and are angry that nothing has been done to alleviate the sufferings. A president has a duty and ability to address their concerns. I will initiate programs that will galvanize the young and the young at heart and harness their energies to build a better Singapore. At the same time, I will do my utmost to help the poor, the sick, the underprivileged, the retrenched and the unemployed. Many have been left behind to live quiet, desperate lives. It is the duty of the president to use his moral authority to help bridge the widening social divisions in our society. 
In order to do that, the president must have the courage to question the government judiciously and encourage them to do better. The president needs to exercise his powers independently without fear or favour. We Singaporeans have had such a president before and we need such a president again. Now, I would like to tell you how, why I am the best man for this mission. I have five qualities that collectively distinguish me from the other three candidates. First, I have government service experience. For over 11 years, I interacted and worked with colleagues in other ministries to promote the interests of Singaporeans. We ask and check each other all the time as we pursued the best solutions for Singapore's problems. I was able to work amicably with my colleagues as we respected each other. If I am elected president, I will use the same kind of amicable attitude based on mutual respect in my relationship with the government. This should not be a problem for me as I had worked with the Prime Minister before when he was the Minister for Trade and Industry. Second, I have experience in performing diplomatic duty as I have represented Singapore in overseas meetings and official visits. Third, I have a deep understanding of economics and global finance through my work experience in economic planning and international banks. Fourth, I am the only one candidate who has never been a member of the ruling party and so can truly claim to be independent of the government without any conflict of emotions to interfere in my work. And last but not least, I have empathy for people who struggle to make a living. This is an important quality that will help the President heal the deep social divisions and unify the nation. I know what it is like to be poor because I came from the poor. My mother was a washerwoman who toiled day and night to bring up nine children. However hard our family worked, there was never enough and we were grateful for the generous help from friends and relatives. I know the value of community help and will promote it to make life an enjoyable experience for all. Like you, I also value political and social stability. I have four young school-going children and I want them to grow up and pursue their dreams in a stable and friendly Singapore. As president, I will work together with the government in a constructive and non-confrontational manner so as to preserve and protect the stable and friendly environment that will allow them and all other Singaporeans to blossom. My fellow Singaporeans, you will vote in a new president tomorrow. I am honoured to come before you tonight asking for your vote. The Presidential Elections Committee has certified me as a candidate of integrity, good character and reputation. It also certified me as having such experience and ability in financial affairs that I can effectively carry out the functions and duties of the President. I know that the journey is a long and hard one, but if I walk it together with you, we will complete our journey side by side. I know that ordinary Singaporeans like you will have the courage to vote for change. You stood up decisively on May 7 and showed the way for others to follow. So come tomorrow, vote with your heart. Put a cross next to the symbol of the heart, the heart of the nation. You have the power to make a change. Use it and vote me to be your next president. Thank you and good night.